Hello, welcome back to the desk corner and welcome to a new video. And in today's video, I just want to share some tips with you guys about how you can improve at a new medium that you might be trying to learn. So for me in 2021, I want to improve at watercolor and this is something I haven't put much time and effort into in the past. So that's something I'm going to try and focus on in 2021. And if you, like me, are trying to learn something new or improve at a medium, I think that some of these tips could be helpful for you. So just keep on watching today's video. I'm going to be painting a really pretty watercolor desert scene. As an example, you don't need to be learning watercolor for this video to help you out, but that's what I'm going to be doing. And without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. I know that for me when I'm learning a new medium I tend to feel very overwhelmed so what I do like to do often is pick a piece to create that is going to focus on the technique that I'm trying to learn. So with me trying to improve at watercolor, one thing I wanted to improve was my wet on wet technique specifically. So in this painting, all I'm going to focus on really is my wet on wet technique for the sky. I'm going to paint a very nice simple desert um, silhouette piece and I am going to focus mostly on the sky because that's where the technique that I'm trying to practice is at and this will make me less likely to give up if I don't like how the sky turned out because the rest of the piece is not going to be anything too complicated for me to achieve. So no matter what medium you are practicing it's a good idea to do smaller studies or pieces that are easier and faster for you to create while you are practicing still so that you don't overwhelm yourself right away trying to create some sort of masterpiece because that's just not realistic when you're trying to learn something new. Now most likely your painting or drawing or whatever you are creating is not going to be perfect because you are after all just practicing something new but that's okay you kind of have to accept the fact that there's going to be some aspects of it that you don't like, um, but we will get to reflecting on the piece afterwards when I'm finished with this painting demonstration. Now, right now my current focus is watercolor, but in the past I started out as a graphite artist, so I learned charcoal and colored pencil and pastel pencil and different things after that. Um, and some of those things were very frustrating and time consuming for me to get good at, even though I felt like I was already pretty proficient or advanced in graphite, which is frustrating when you're already advanced in one medium or style and then you kind of feel like you're starting from scratch again. Let's say you're not like me and you're not trying to learn like watercolor techniques. What you're trying to learn are realistic colored pencil techniques. Well, it would be really helpful for you to do different studies for the subjects that you plan to draw. So for example, you could do an eye study if you're going to draw portraits, a skin study if you want to learn about skin tones and how to create smooth um, skin tones with colored pencil. You could do fur studies if animals are what you're planning on drawing. And it just depends on the subject matter that you choose. This makes things a little bit more easily digestible compared to if you just chose to right away try to draw a full portrait or a full animal when you're still very new to the medium. Now you can see what I'm doing with the foreground. I'm cheating. I'm taking my Copic marker. I'm just going to create some silhouettes of cacti and little bushes and things like desert plants in the foreground uh, because I've already finished the background, which was the main focus. So this part's going to go fast and easy for me. Another reason I want this part to go by fast is because at the end of the day, art should also be fun. Even when you're learning something new or you're feeling frustrated, art should be fun. So I knew that adding this touch to the foreground and doing it this way would make creating this piece more fun for me. Um, not that the wet on wet technique wasn't fun to practice, but if I had a really highly detailed foreground to complete after, I might have felt a little bit worn out or not completely sure of how much I liked the background, and then I might have been demotivated to continue the foreground in such detail, which is why I chose to do silhouette, which is really actually something I recommend if you're trying to learn landscapes in any medium, because if you do silhouette, for if you do silhouettes for the foreground then it frees you up to kind of be experimental with the background because you know that the foreground is going to be pretty easy for you to do regardless and it's not going to take up hours of your time. 
As I mentioned before, you can also notice how small this piece I'm working on is too. I wanted to make sure I wasn't overwhelming myself with a really giant paper or anything like that. And yeah, and I'm just going to finish this up with my Copic marker and then I'm going to get to reflecting on the piece, which I think is really important to do whenever you're trying to learn something new, especially if you want to figure out what exactly you could improve on the next time that you try something similar. So I'm going to finish up with this and then we can get to the little evaluation. <laughs> Hey guys, it's actually a few days later now because I just got around to doing this, but here's how the painting turned out in the end. There are a couple things that I don't like about it, and then there are things that I do like about it, and that's why we're going to just jump into quickly reflecting and evaluating on it. Have this really pathetic but cute piece of purple memo paper, which I'm going to use to do this just for the sake of showing you guys how quick and easy this can be. It doesn't have to be an entire report or anything crazy like that. So the first thing I'm going to, oh, I don't know what happened there. I think something went wrong with the ink. That's totally fine. So I'm just gonna title this um, Desert. So what I first like to do is pick out the things that I think are strengths and things that I like about this painting. So I'm going to say one strength is I do like how the colors in the sky turned out. I like that this does look like a sunset. The reflection, not really reflection, but the light um, that's shining down on the mountain in the middle. And of course the foreground, which is to be expected. Okay, so now that I've written what I like about the painting, I'm going to write down some of the flaws under weaknesses. And this is gonna get pretty specific. So one thing is that I had trouble with the blue paint. In some areas it was just too heavy and it started to dry when I wanted to add more so I ended up with some lines that don't look very nice. It didn't blend as well. I'm also going to say that the colors didn't get quite as vibrant in some areas and dark as I would like them to be. So that was an issue with layering. So layering, layers. And then finally, another issue I had was I was a little too heavy handed on the mountains and I created some sharp lines by accident. So I'm going to say mountains. So now I've pointed out what I like about this painting and what I don't like. Now I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna write things to improve on. So this will be great and handy for me to look at the next time I do a wet on wet painting. I'm gonna figure out what I need to improve on based on the weaknesses. So blue areas of the sky was one thing I don't like about this painting. The reason I don't like it is because the paint dried too fast, first of all, and second of all, I wasn't able to, well, I guess it's the same thing. I wasn't able to work quickly enough. So I'm going to say, I first wrote that I need to work faster before the paper dries um, during the wet and wet technique which is something I struggle with as someone who likes to work slow, so I kind of knew I would have that issue. <laughs> Another thing is I need to learn how to layer more effectively with the wet on wet, so that's just a um, balance of how much water I'm using as I continue to layer, and of course it goes hand in hand with working at the correct speed. So I've got two things that are really practical that I can learn now from this, and let me see if there's anything else. I also wrote that the mountains are too harsh, some of the lines are a little bit harsh, so I need to learn to create okay so obviously these are three things that I need to improve on when I'm working with watercolor and especially with wet on wet so now I've got three specific things I can improve on based on what I liked and didn't like about this painting um, and I think that this is a great way to figure out what specific areas you're having issues with. And this way I can go and research online how to improve on these things. I can practice 
and I can do better next time and it helps to just have a really little piece of paper handy. Maybe you could even keep this in like a notebook if you would like to. So one reason that I created this video is not that I want to take the fun out of art and I think that you need to make notes every time and be super critical of your art. I don't think that at all, but if you're getting very frustrated trying to learn something new and you keep repeating the same mistakes over and over, you don't really know how to fix it, I think this is a great way to figure out what um, you might be doing wrong or what things you could improve on and we can always improve on things no matter how advanced we are anyway so sometimes it's fun to do these evaluations really figure out what it is that you need to practice so that being said that's all for today's video I hope that it was helpful for you guys let me know what mediums you're trying to learn in the comments below if this applies to you I hope you enjoyed this little desert painting I thought it was really fun and cute to create thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys